Let's run. Uh, uh, okay. Is it the baby? Is he kicking? Yeah, like Chuck Norris. Whew. I don't know what he's wailing on down there, but I hope he doesn't do it again. Oh, well, does it still hurt? No. No, he's taking a breather now. So where were we? Well, I was just telling you how much I loved you. Oh, well, by all means, continue. Did I mention how talented you are and how beautiful you look this evening? Hmm. How did I get so lucky? Oh, baby, I'm the lucky one. See, you always say that. And then I look in your eyes and I know you mean it. You have no idea how much that means to me. I wish there was some way that I could, you know, thank you or pay you back for everything you've done. Hmm. Maybe there is. This is so great. You must be so excited. Lead <laughs> model for the Ambrosia line? Yeah. That is a real honor. Uh-huh. I might need you to give me some pointers. Oh, yeah, let's see. Um, oh, cheeks in, mm -hmm. butt out, and pout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who you really should ask, though? Yeah. Your mom. <sighs> when she gets back from Paris. Have you heard from her? No. You know, Dad called International, and there's nothing going on there. <sighs> that is so weird. Ah, I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Yeah, but what? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would mom run off to Paris? Transmission report here. Looks like Deacon received your fax. You know, you shouldn't have done that. We had to. Look, you're going to Paris to get over this man. Right, you're starting a new life. I don't expect you to understand. I understand how Bridget would have felt if she saw that letter. Told Deacon it was coming through, and I'm sure he's going to shred it. Brooke, you told this man time and time again to stay away from you that he had to, and he couldn't. What makes you think he's going to throw away your last love letter? Look, this is serious. If you want to keep this secret from Bridget, you have got to let him go, Brooke. If not, it's only a matter of time before Bridget finds out that Deacon is the father of your child. I know, Whip. I promised myself I wouldn't do this, but I couldn't leave without telling you what's in my heart. Our relationship has been one of the most significant in my life. You changed me, Deacon. You revived me. You ignited a passion in me that I thought had been extinguished forever. Our connection eclipsed everything I have ever known. You saw in me what no one else ever had. You loved me for who I was. And out of that love, we conceived a child, a precious gift, a new life. I'll never regret our time together. The intimacy, the passion, the sacred bond we will always share. That's what I want you to know, Deacon. You are a part of me now. And no matter where I go or how far apart we are, I will carry our love inside me. I can't escape from it. And the truth is, I don't want to.
What are you telling me, Brooke? You say you don't want to escape from our love, and then you just leave. When we're apart, every cell in my body feels your absence. Every inch of my skin remembers your touch and your kiss. As hard as I've tried, I can't forget you. But... But I can't be with you. I'm sorry, Deacon. I can't betray my daughter. Bridget can never know this is your baby and it's just too dangerous for me to be near you. Our passion for each other is too strong. We have to make a clean break. It's the only way to keep this secret. I know you'll respect my decision because you're a good man. And I know you'll make a good husband to my daughter because she's a much better woman than I am. Love, Brooke. I try to forget about you. I try to forget about you, but damn it, I can't. Try. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Amber Forrester, and if you would indulge me, I would like to say a very special thank you to my very gorgeous and very surprised husband, Rick. <laughs> this is for you, for everything that you've done for me. He actually did it. Tell Deacon it was over. What are you doing? Give me that. Good for you, Brooke. I'm proud of you. This is private, Whip. I'm sorry. I... I'm just very impressed. I 
giving up this relationship to ensure your daughter's happiness, to protect the future of your unborn child. Most people couldn't have done that. But you're not most people. You're an exceptional woman, Brooke. Well, don't. It's true. You've done a great thing for your children. And I know you don't realize it right now. But it is the best thing for you and Deacon as well. You've given him a gift, Brooke. He had no choice. Now he has to move on with his life. And you know you have to move on with yours, too. Hey, Bridget, I thought you were, uh, I thought you were leaving. Yeah, that was the plan, but then Kristen and I started talking. Deacon? Yeah. What's wrong? Nothing. No, 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 don't give me that. You're upset. Sweetie, what's going on? I'm not upset. I'm just, um, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed. Everybody expects so much out of me, and, you know, I just, uh, I, I don't want to let them down, that's all. Oh, you won't. This, <laughs> Deacon, this is going to be a cakewalk for you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wish I wish that were true. But I made a commitment, and I plan on sticking by it. Honey, look, if you're in the middle of something, I'll just meet you at home, no, okay? No. I'm done with everything. I just from this point on, you are my top priority. You're the most important thing in this world to me. Mrs. Forrester, you are one multi-talented woman. Well, what can I say? You bring out the best in me. Hey, you're gonna have to stop all this modesty. You're a fashion designer. <laughs> you're gonna have to learn how to take all the credit. No way. Mm -mm. That was the old me. You know, I spent most of my life looking out for number one. Always putting myself first, and that didn't make me happy. You make me happy, Rick. You and Eric, and, and this baby, our family. You know, that's what motivates me now. And the job, the collection, you know, it's not about being famous. It's about being able to make a contribution. You know, being the kind of person who can handle responsibility. Being the kind of person who can handle anything. And not, not because I'm tough, but because I'm surrounded by so much love. You'll always have my support. <laughs> and you'll always have mine. You know, for the first time in our marriage, I really feel like we're a team, you know? All the mistakes I've made, everything in the past, is all behind us. This is my dream relationship. This is, this is our fairy tale. This is our happily ever after. And, you know, I know I've said this before. This time I really mean it. I've never been happier than this very minute. Hmm. I like what success has done to my husband. I'm serious, Bridget. Oh, so am I. I mean it. Um, can we sit down for a second? Sure. Listen, I know that I've been um, preoccupied lately. I guess I just got caught up in the drama of the situation. I, I stopped thinking and I let my emotions take over. Blame you for getting excited about your promotion. I should have included you in this. I mean, you're my wife. You're my wife, and I took a vow to love and to honor and to cherish you. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Especially the cherish part. I appreciate you are such an incredible woman. And a guy would be an idiot to take you for granted and um, I think it's, that's exactly what I've been doing. I'm 
sorry. Deacon, you have no idea what that means to me. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not that I've been unhappy, I just, I think that we got out of sync. And I don't know how it happened. I, I, I don't know either, but, but all that stuff that was consuming me, that's, that's done. It's, um, it's a thousand miles away. Whip, I really appreciate your support, but... No pressure. I just want to help. With what? The problem is solved. Deacon and I are finished. Well, yes, you've done a very brave thing, but that's not the end of the story. That's just the beginning. Of what? The rest of your life. I'd like to be part of that. Look, I don't know if you could ever fall for a guy like me given the circumstances, how this whole thing got started. I can't even think about that right now. But you might, you know? And if and when you do, I, I hope that you would think of me. You know, for real this time. Not as just a prop for the press. I don't want you on the rebound. I want to earn your respect. Look, I know you're hurting. I understand that you need your space. But if you ever need someone, I'm here, Brooke. You can depend on me. I'm not going anywhere. I don't know, Amber. You may be pretty happy right now, but I have a feeling that you're gonna be much happier. I don't see how. No, it's right below your nose. What? The baby. Oh, I know. I can't wait for him to come. Or her. <laughs> I think about it all the time. What it's gonna be like in the delivery room, holding him for the first time. This brand new little person. Our baby, Amber. It's so incredible having you there, knowing that we're ready for this. You bet we are. We're gonna give this baby an incredible life. And lots of brothers and sisters. <laughs> really, you're already planning that? Oh yeah, yeah, I've got this big picture, you know, you and me sitting at the breakfast table with all our kids. <laughs> Everyone's laughing and making a mess and we're all talking. Oh, Amber, that would, that would make me so happy. That's a beautiful picture, Rick. And I want you to have that. No, it's not going to happen overnight, but we are well on our way. You're an amazing man. And a wonderful father. And I love you so much. And I can't... Oh. Amber? Amber, my God. Uh, Amber, what's wrong? Uh, hey, oh, some, somebody help us. Some, oh, somebody God. call an ambulance. Uh, Stick it to me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>